it's normal for you to go to dates with all other guys how's your other dates going talk about other dates makes like zero sense it's like dude what if hi what's up guys john anthony here and liz and in today's video, we're going to talk about first dates. How about first dates? Yes, we're going to go over everything that the girl is thinking and expecting and kind of get a woman's point of view on first dates. So what kind of venue do you like to do for a first date? I think first date should be something that's like quickly, like that you can like get to know the person. So I would vote for coffee. Coffee shops are like the best. You can like easy grab, like order a coffee, grab a coffee. And you can see like, oh, you're interested in the person, so you can keep going. Oh, you're not interested, so it's just a coffee, so no problem. Yeah, so for the first date, I always recommend the guys either pick coffee or drinks. Okay, if, if they're insisting on dinner, just say, hey, I want to just get to know each other first and see how the chemistry is. And that keeps things nice and light and casual. Okay, when I was on the Value Team and Money podcast, the girls were saying like, oh, I don't want to order something more expensive than the guy and like stuff about the check and like all these other complications. Or a lot of guys think that it's a good idea to go and do activities like rock climbing or, or hiking or things like that. And then the focus can be on the activity instead of getting to know the person in a kind of controlled environment. So that's number one, make sure you're doing the coffee or the drinks for the first date. What kind of things are you looking for that's gonna give the guy points or takeaway points and how he's acting on the date? We always talk about that. The person, the guy should be really confident that he should really like bring him to the table what he wants to convey, like strong personality, nice posture, like smile, like don't be afraid to talk. You don't need to get like into deep conversations about all this philosophy stuff and like <laughs> all the points uh, that you have like religion or political points of view. You don't need to get in that kind of stuff, but you need to make like the conversation interesting and light, right? Like soft, like yeah. pleasant. And a lot of guys, they have trouble about what they should be saying, what they should be talking about and not running out of stuff to say. I tell guys, act like you're speaking to a guy friend, act like you're speaking to your dad, but you're just gonna be injecting flirtation and sexualization. Don't place judgment on what it is that you're saying. Just say whatever comes to mind, speak with no filter, and then you can have a bunch of fallback topics, like different conversational topics that I fall back on is making sexual jokes, logistics, finding out what she's doing after, planning the date for the meetup after, coming back to my place, asking about her ethnicity, asking you know some of the boring interview questions like what does she do for work what does she like to do for fun but you can just bounce around and talk about whatever let the conversation unfold naturally and it's also important to get to the point of what she said about confidence you should be already assuming it's a done deal with this girl she's agreeing to meet you one-on-one -on -one, presumably near your house okay without her friends and you're not in a club where you have to try to get her out of the venue and, and try to get her attention and convince her friends that you're safe and cool and all this stuff Instead, the girl is open on some level to hooking up with you and going home with you, right? That's why she's going on the date. So you can think of it like a done deal. A lot of guys put too much pressure on themselves, they get too nervous, and they try to over game or, or over play the date. And then it comes across about them looking potentially insecure that it's not going to work out. So assume that it's already a done deal, assume that she's going to like you, and as you get comfortable going on more and more dates, you'll learn how to run them systematically. And I'm gonna drop a video in the end screen, we can pop up the thumbnail, for First Dates 101, that gives you all the major things that a guy should be doing to have a successful first date. Okay, and for my whole strategy to learn how to do cold approach, at bars and clubs during the daytime, how to optimize your online profile, exactly which messages to send on Tinder and over text, how to run your date, close your date, and keep the girls you want, book a free 30-minute call and go over the solution there with someone from my team, how we can get you to all your goals in the dating game very quickly and pack your schedule full of dates starting next week. What are other major considerations that you think guys should be aware of when they go on dates? Pick a place that you're comfortable with, that you already been before. So that I think make it, make it easier. Yeah. Because then, like, if you know, if you go to a coffee place that you already know how it works, you know, oh, the, uh, the waiter is gonna come here, or you have to order the cashier. So it doesn't make like that weird thing because the girl's gonna be waiting, oh, what he's gonna go do next, what he's gonna, you know? And the people will recognize you too. I typically yeah. have like one or two date venues in every city where I live. And you're going to be in there like multiple times a day or at least potentially every day. Every date that you set, 
you're gonna go meet at that spot unless she comes straight to the house. That's like kind of a, a topic for another video. But you're gonna go to that coffee shop or that bar. The girl's gonna meet you there or she's gonna park near where you live and you're gonna walk over, which is even more ideal. Or you take an Uber from your place to go there. Okay, it should be somewhere very, very close to your house. And when you're comfortable in this environment and you've already had many successful dates there before, it makes it that much less scary and that much less threatening and the staff will recognize you and you'll you'll feel like you're just at home right like you can just sit back with a little smile on your face and you know it's going to work out because you're comfortable in this environment you're doing what i said assuming it's going to go well and what else besides the comfort very important don't make the girl like a slut like a bitch for example oh it's normal for you to go to dates with all other guys how's your other dates going no no talk about other dates makes like zero sense because the girl already like uh, agreed to meet you like okay maybe it was like in the first or second message that you guys uh change you with each other it's okay but don't make like this like oh you're that easy to get here you know sometimes guys do that yeah it's kind of like off-limit topics don't talk about who else she's going on dates with or how often she's meeting guys from tinder or from the club or anything like that don't talk about controversial issues like religion or politics or something where you guys might be clashing it's going to turn her off and i also don't recommend bringing up any kind of bombshells on the first date right so i have clients that have kids or that maybe are divorced and i tell them you know let the girl get to know you for who you are before she makes any kind of prejudgments. So maybe she doesn't want to get involved with a guy with kids, but if you don't mention it on the first day and then she's like, oh, I really like this guy a lot, and she gets invested in you, and then you're like, by the way, I have kids, then she's going to be much more likely to stick around or, or try to work something out with you instead of just bouncing out. I think that's another big mistake is that guys will sit down and they get into controversial topics or they mention things that might be a deal breaker for the girl. Don't get into that stuff. As she said, keep the date light and fun yeah. you're going to be making sexualized yeah. jokes but you're going to be you know just laughing having a good time yeah. with the girl don't, don't take that time as you're going to a therapist because sometimes guys do that you know they go there and they start like saying oh because my ex divorced me my ex was crazy i have like to pay thing like child support i'm like this it's like dude what are you yeah you don't want to you don't want to come across as like damaged goods yeah. or like that you have a bunch of baggage and it's also not a time, as she said, like you don't want to treat her like a therapist, be bitching about all the problems and negatives in your life. The thing that you should do is like make yourself interesting for that person. Like, oh, I enjoyed that. Oh, I watched that movie. That was so cool. That scene was wow. It was like, wow, it blew my mind. What do you think? Oh, what's that? <laughs> you know, make that like fun. Make it fun for you. Like have like a great time in that moment. At least you know, like if the person like uh, likes the same things that you do, yeah. uh, the person is gonna laugh at your jokes. The, those little things, and remember, you're just meeting the person. You don't need to open like all your dark secrets and or your heart over there, right? Yeah. You're doing there too. You're doing that too. Have fun. So enjoy that moment. Yep. So keep things lighthearted and fun. Don't try to place judgment on anything you say. A lot of guys get into the mistake of thinking, "How am I doing so far?" How much time has passed? Uh, I don't know, I'm still keeping the conversation going, but I'm worried she might not like this joke or she might not like this topic. Like, does she like me so far? They keep doing this like kind of analysis or keeping like a scorecard off to the side. When you already assume it's gonna go well and that you've already got the girl, that already checks all the boxes on the scorecard and you've already won before the date's even started. Okay, that doesn't give you license to go act like a clown and say nonsense or act, you know, foolish or, or ridiculous but it will give you the confidence to be able to talk about whatever you want. Instead of wondering like, how am I doing so far? Should I make this joke? Should I not make this joke? Just be your authentic self, move things along, keep things lighthearted and fun. And you need to master the art of not running out of stuff to say. I can teach you how to do that, how to never run out of things to say, how to keep things really interesting, how to move the day forward, how to sexualize properly, how to implement physicality properly, how to invite her back home, how to answer any objections she has coming back home, et cetera, et cetera. The video on the end screen will touch on some of that stuff, but to learn all the full details and get it to the point where you're bringing home almost every date that you go on, which can be very repeatable and systematic, book a free 30 minute call to find out all the details of my industry leading system and see if that is right for you. Okay, do you have any kind of closing thoughts on uh, things yes. to keep in mind? And if you invited a girl for coffee or something, you should pay the bill. 
Like, of course, she might offer, like, oh, I can pay, like, sometimes, like, most times they will offer to, but it's like, it's a coffee, just pay for being nice. You yeah. can make some points of that, you know? They'll make, like, a big deal. A lot, a lot of guys think, like, since they watch red pill content, is they're like, well, I don't want to be a provider, I don't want to be a blue pill beta simp. And I've seen lots of guys not only screw up dates, but screw up girls that would have went home with them from nightclubs, because they invite the girl to have a drink at the bar, and then the bill comes for the drink and they say, oh, well, can you pay for the drink or can you pay for your half or whatever? And it's not that you always need to be paying for everything for a girl. You need, you need to be showering her with gifts or kissing her ass. But if you invite the girl at a club over to the bar to have a drink, it's kind of expected that you should pay for yeah. it. If you invite a girl out on a date on the first date, it's yeah. the traditional thing to do. Yeah, is just pay for the first, first date. time, right? The yeah, and you can keep costs down by going to bars and coffee shops. Mm -hmm. okay, it's going to typically be like one to two drinks or just one one coffee and the date should be lasting about 45 to 75 minutes typically about an hour is a sweet spot you don't have to sit there for two three hours ordering lots of drinks or lots of coffees right you don't need to go out for dinner dates at least not on the first date so do you have any kind of last minute thoughts for just how a guy should come in with his mindset go there like John said like think like already got this I'm like I'm on my top of the world here I'm on the top of my game go confident put a smile on your face like be open to have fun to talk about like interesting things don't get bored or upset about like how oh, a politician oh this guy said this on the tv and this is really bad so i'm gonna talk about it no don't talk about this negative stuff you know there's so many negative stuff happening all the time in your life so cut it off just like focus on the good part and very important during the whole interaction try to get like close or try to like you know, be like a little bit physical. But speaking of which, but in the end, if you if you don't touch and all, just in the end you touch, it's gonna like be weird. You know, it's gonna be. Like, yeah, it makes oh, that yeah. makes it a big deal. It makes yeah. it like a big move, that's not congruent with the tone that you set or the frame that you set before. But it should be noted as a funny side note when she's saying make sure you're touching, being physical. On our first date back three years ago, I tried to kiss her. I I brought her out on a balcony, and. I said, let me see your eyes and went to kiss her. This was maybe like 15, 20 minutes into the date. She was like, oh, this is moving too fast. Maybe I should be going. And I was like, no, we can slow things down, stay like it'll, it's all good, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. But you have to be able to read the situation too. Yeah. And if the girl's not ready yet for hooking up, then you need to slow things down and yeah. tell her how to be And good. in the end of our first date, we are kissing each other. Remember, yeah. you're like kissing. And funny thing, our first date, like a uh, dinner date, remember? This, that was actually the second date. Yeah, the second, the first dinner date. Yeah. The space for the for the for the shares was like kind of tight, and then I made a joke to him because I was like, oh, let's see how this guy is at. And then I said, oh, it's kind of no. He said, oh, it's kind of tight here because he's like a big guy, right? And they said, mm, do you like when it's tight? <laughs> and then like like he started laughing and it was like so fun, you know. She's using my yeah. my sense of humor against me because I always tell guys that you should twist things and try to play off whatever's being said to make it sexual. So with that, I will leave you guys here. Let me know what you think in the comments, any questions you have about females mindset during dates. Like the video, subscribe, check out the video on the end screen about First Dates 101 for more of a technical strategy. But to learn my full strategy for dates in all other areas of the game, get on a free 30 minute call. We have three day live programs as well where the coach can work with you in person. And we have our eight week mentorship program and there's also cheaper do it yourself options. So get on one of those calls to find out what's right for you. Thank you guys so much. And I'll see you on a video soon. Bye. See you. And I ain't never had to wait. I'm the realest in this game. I ain't never had to fake. Just take a look at the scores. I put numbers up on the boards. I'm in a section with models. And you're at the bar trying to get out of cluster of fours. Fixed drama factor. I'm a boss tycoon. My dick smell like two chicks before noon.